Oh, look, at, look, at, look at this. Look how soiled it is there. Where I um, picked up, uh, you know, a thousand bed bugs or so. Uh, that's fecal, just fecal matter. Uh, vacuum, vacuum would be good too. I think that's a live one right there. Just because they're not running around doesn't mean they're not alive. So, because uh, they carry eggs as well. So I just pick it up. You don't squish them. Yep, he's alive. See that? It's just that one. Just that one can infest your entire house within a short period of time. So th this this soiled spot on the box spring, this was right above it. And you can see, like you don't see anything. So when when people are getting bed bugs and they start, there's a there's a that's the underside of it anyways. So the underside that's where you should see see it. But once you're your bed's made and everything, and you're getting bit. You do a, a, just a quick inspection, or if you hire a professional, they just do a quickie inspection. Um, they may not see anything. In this case, I probably would have definitely uncovered bed bugs through a visual inspection because that's that's really soil. Or a lot of houses I go to that just started, you don't they're not established yet. You don't see one speck, not yet, and you can still you can get bit immediately and not, and uh, not and not see anything yet. What I do, I pull the tags off. Uh, I'm doing a treatment, so I'm gonna probably cut them off. No, nope, let's take these tags off because they live on the tags. <laughs> Put that in. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pull the headboard out. And if the, as the worst the infestation is, the more you're gonna have to disassemble. So I'm gonna pull this out and see how easy it is for one person <laughs> to pull this out. This is the middle bracket. Let's see on the, the bottom how they can hide hide in these brackets in the sewer rails, all the seams. So I'm going to pull this away now from the wall. Oh boy. With one hand, I'll probably do it. I'm going to see. Probably. I got a washing machine. Get like be, be able to get behind the furniture and uh, get the flashlight. You don't do this. You don't do this process until you're ready to start spraying. And then you start inspecting. Um, they could be inside the channels, the caster wheels. You got to treat inside that, inside the screw holes. Uh, even sometimes I've been in situations where they're behind the washers. The, the bolts go inside and also in the screw holes, the seams around the fabric, the stitching. It could be be back here. You know, I really just do a quick visual to assess the situation, but I don't necessarily have to find them because I already know the house is infested. I just want to see if there's extreme uh, amount of activity. To, to start uh, worrying about, there's a bed bug uh, right there. Bed bug right there. And, uh, <clears throat> and sometimes you pull this back, and there could be tens of thousands of adult ones that were there for a long period of time. You got to get, you know, when I start putting the bed back, I'm going to pull the uh, nice stand away from the wall and treat the uh, baseboards and the carpet seams. You know, the same where it reaches the carpet, there's a gap there, and also the top of the baseboard. And I don't see it terribly, terrible back here. But everything's going to get treated. And uh, behind this uh, behind this mirror, all the seams around the mirror, all the junctures, uh, the bed bugs can be up in there. 